home now. Smoothie time. But before I do that, we've got to plug in the iPod. And now it's time for a pre-workout smoothie. So pre-workout, I'm looking for a good source of carbs, good source of protein, good amount of carbs and protein, and a little bit of fat. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put We'll put the blender on the scales so we know exactly what we've got. Zero it out, so that's at zero. Now, first ingredient, we're going for one serve of oats, that's 40 grams, and we get 22.7 grams of carbs, 5.1 grams of protein, 3.7 grams of fat. So we've got 40, 40. easy. Easy, easy, easy. Now a little bit of sweetener. We're going with maple flavored syrup. This whole bottle is 180 calories, so I seriously don't even count it. But if we are going to, we'll go, no, I think we'll only go one serve. So that's 35 mil, so. 70. Five grams, two ingredients. What else are we gonna do? Frozen berries. This is the killer ingredient, I'm telling you, man. 100 grams is a serve, 58 calories, no fat, one gram of protein, 10 grams of carbs. So we'll go 100 grams. Yep, it's about 100. Could probably do more of those, but we won't today. And what is the liquid we're going to use? We are going to use creamy almond milk and cashew milk blend. And it's really low in calories. This is awesome. This whole, like a serving 250 mils, 38 calories. It's fucking brilliant. So we'll go one serve, 250 mils, which is 250 grams if you didn't know. So we'll get that up to 430, 435, that's all right. And the last ingredient is my new favorite, MTS Cinegram. First time I've tried it, it's really nice. Something different. Fuck, oi. Fuck, it smells delicious, man, seriously. All right, and we'll go one scoop of this. Boom. And I mean, you guys know how fucking delicious this is gonna be. So we've got one scoop of protein, 100 grams of frozen berries, 40 grams of oats, a cup of almond and cashew milk, and a serve of queen syrup. So get that shit going. Macros will be up on the screen somewhere, I hope. Man, that's good. Fuck. Now, honestly guys, usually, usually I don't put my blender on the scale, but as you can see, I mean, that has allowed me to be able to track exactly what I've just had, which I will be doing, putting in my fitness pal. And you know, it's allowing me to keep on my goals. Fuck, that's delicious. So anyway, I'll chill out here, probably watch a little bit of YouTube for about, I don't know, half an hour. As I said in a previous video, you know, the first four, four hours of when I get up is my most productive time. So I've been up for about two hours and I don't want to leave it too much longer before I go to the gym or else my mood will start, you know, slowing down. I'll start sort of thinking, oh fuck, you know, I've left it too long, blah, blah, blah. I love smashing out the gym in the first four hours of when I get up. 
and it's actually kind of annoying sometimes I need I know I need nutrition before I go but I can't be fucked I don't want to wait another hour after having that you know I want to go now but I know what my body needs and it needs some nutrition I want to pump this workout some of my workouts lately haven't been having a pump which fucking sucks like literally when you're going low carb you'll go set after set after set it will burn and burn but you don't get that pump you just you don't it, it's like you finish the set it's burning like fuck but it's not tight burning it's just burning <laughs> so you guys will know what I mean it's true it is true the pump is I mean if, if you've got no carbs in your system for like three days it's gonna be near impossible for you to get a pump you're gonna feel like shit so anyways guys I will be finishing this smoothie shortly and we will be off to the gym and I will talk to you guys after all right guys turns out I did get a trim my my mate uh, texted me just before I was about to head off to the gym he said come around now we'll uh, we'll get it done so I did that now I'm home again it's been two and a half hours now since I actually had the smoothie so I'm, I'm eating some more carbs something light fuck up it's my washing machine something light something that's not gonna you know disturb my stomach um, but it's gonna give me a few more carbs before I train so I probably had about six of these and then I've got to hang my washing out get my pre-workout drink and then we're off and after I train guys I am getting my first deep tissue massage in like months so every morning I wake up my back is tight as a motherfucker I'm not even joking so I feel like I'm walking around like with imaginary lat syndrome because my back's just tight and it's all up my traps and middle back and everything so I'm going to get a deep tissue massage I've paid for an hour and a half she usually asks me like what I want to spend the time on well I'm saying just get in my back my back my traps and my my like rear rear delts fucking everything and if she's got time I'll tell her to go to work on my quads because they're kind of they're a little bit sore tender tender I've got really really tight hamstrings and really tight IT bands now that is my own fault but she she gets in there and sort of um, loosens them out and then it's my job to come home and use this motherfucker which I don't so it's my own fault but we're gonna get something done about it today washing on pre-workout gym then massage and I'll see you guys back here later on tonight Right. <laughs>